Right, today we're going to be talking about a new technique that I haven't covered before called the CAT technique, CAT method, the cycle adjustment technique. Uh, and as the name suggests, this is going to involve slightly changing your sleep pattern uh, in order to have lucid dreams at a time in the night where you're most likely to have them. Uh, and it works by sort of tricking your mind and it, it plays into your circadian rhythm, uh, which is the way you naturally fall asleep based on sunlight and darkness. Uh, so let's just get into it. This technique was created by somebody called Daniel Love, which if you don't know, he's a very prolific lucid dreamer. He's, he's released a book or two on the subject and he has his own website and uh, he's doing all sorts of really good stuff for the lucid dreaming community. Uh, and he sort of made this technique, uh, it's mainly for beginners because it seems to work really reliably even if you haven't had success with other techniques. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link to his book in the description, uh, which you can check out later. But So for now, let's just get right into the technique and explain how it works. So it's a two-step process. And firstly, I should mention that this this sort of works in tandem with your, your reality checks and writing your dreams down with. They sort of go with every technique. So they're sort of standard, they're like the foundations you need to have for uh, any given technique to have the best chance of success, right? So if you're going to try this, make sure you're doing the basic stuff first. So the first step is you're going to reset your natural circadian rhythm or your body clock. And the way you do this is that you set a wake up time, at, let's say 8am or let's, let's say 6.30am. And that's going to make sense with an example in a minute. So 6.30am. <clears throat> You're going to wake up at 6.30 in the morning every single day for a week or two. And when I say a week or two, I don't mean you can miss a day. I mean like every single day like for the two weeks. Don't, don't cheat on that because it won't, you know, if you cheat, you won't be able to make it work later on. So you're going to set your alarm for 6.30 in the morning, get up at exactly the same time every day. And after a couple of weeks, depends, you know, each person will take a different amount of time. But it's going to take a week or two you'll find that you naturally start subconsciously getting ready to wake up at that time. And that's how this technique works. You're going to trick your body. So your body will get used to the wake up time of 6.30. And at that time, or just before that time, you're going to start automatically producing these wake up hormones, uh, which are these hormones your body produces just before you normally wake up to sort of raise your consciousness out of sleep and getting ready for the, the waking day, right? Uh, so it prepares for this, it prepares to wake you up before you actually wake up. So at the time, you're going to normally do that, it's 6.30. You're going to do that for a week or two, and then you're going to suddenly switch, and you're going to have one. You're going to do one day waking up at 6.30, then the next day waking up later at 8am, then the next day 6.30, then 8am. And you're going to switch so that each day you're waking up at a different time. So you're going to alternate 6.30, 8, 6.30, 8. Uh, and the reason it's 90 minutes apart is because that's a sleep cycle. That's the length of uh, the average sleep cycle. <clears throat> and what's this, what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that when you're just about to wake up, your your mind is going to be ready to wake up. So you're going to have the wake-up hormones going through your body, but the alarm won't go off every other day. So you're sort of tricking your body. So it's, it's secreting these hormones to get ready to wake you up, but the alarm doesn't go off on every other day. And what that means is that you enter a state where you've had your deep sleep, you, you're in the stages of the morning where you're having your REM sleep a lot, but the alarm doesn't go off, but you've got all these hormones getting ready to wake you up, which increase the chances of you becoming lucid, and that's how the technique works, basically. So the important part with this is you need to expect always to wake up at the earlier time. So you need to every time you go to bed, you need to expect the alarm to go off at half six, even though it's not going to go off at half six every other day, right? So that's how it works. Now, a few tips on this is, firstly, you should make sure you reset the uh, this, this cycle, I guess you could say this, the pattern every couple of months, because otherwise the body will get used to the alternate time. And you'll find that you your, your body and your mind are fairly smart, right? So eventually they're going to get, your mind's going to get used to you alternating the wake up times. And it's going to start producing the wake up hormones before the earlier time and before the later time. So you need to reset the cycle every two months by going back to doing a week or two of the same time. So that's it, pretty much. If you get tired during this, d doing this technique, if you find that you, you don't have energy during the day or you're finding it's hard to like 
go through the whole day without having a nap, then maybe just give it a break for a month or two. Because uh, obviously some people don't react well to changing their sleep cycle every other day. Uh, it's not Technically it's not natural. But if you want a lucid dream, this is a great technique. It's going to work. It's very effective for a beginner. Uh, and yeah, I've had great success with this. I love it. So Anyway, like I said, Daniel Love created this technique. Go and check his book in the description. I'll put a link there. And if you haven't already subscribed, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.